back at it again on the Crown Vic. Hey, we're gonna upgrade the interior seats in the front from that bench to buckets. Let's say you can't find no P71 seats for your Crown Victoria to make bucket seats in the front. You do have options, but you're not sure how to tackle the project. I will show you on this video how you could go ahead and put bucket seats from another vehicle off of a Mustang 2003 bucket seats. I will show you in this video how to do that swap. Stay tuned on this episode of This Is In My Garage. These are the seats that we're about to put in the Crown Vic. We're going to go ahead and take the passenger seat out of the Crown Vic. Put the brackets, not these brackets, but the original brackets of the Crown Vic, Vic back to on the floorboard. Make a measurement, cut some metal brackets to go across and match it up inside the Crown Vic. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get to it. So next, we'll measure upside to outside, 17, 17, we'll use a flat bar to do the, the brackets on top for the Mustang seats.
All right, guys. As you can see, I went ahead. I welded the bar to the actual bracket of the seat of the Crown Vic. Now, I took the Mustang seat apart so that way I won't catch anything on fire. Um, and you're able to weld from the top where the actual bolt holes are so it could brace up the, the bottom of the seat. After I tack welded, I welded in the inside. I'll go ahead and I'll flip it and I'll make sure I do some good welds around the perimeter on the bottom. Um, Okay, so here I plugged well there on all four corners. That's where the bolts originally went. Then I went, welded on the sides, on the sides on the inside, and as, as well as the bottom. And I did the same thing over here, welded on the sides here. Now we'll just go ahead and put the seat back on and uh, place this in the car and see how it looks. Oh shit! Okay everyone, just like we did on the other side on the passenger side, we are going to use the Kralvik frame. Uh, of this seat so we're going to continue on with this and mount it back setting up at and what we have to cut and re-weld um, right now I'm going to have to loosen up the brackets on the side and on this side to take the frame off
All right, so went ahead and placed it in here to see what it looked like. It's just like the other one on the passenger side. So you can see the passenger side. Seat belt does work. It slides everything. I am changing the color on the interior, so would not think that uh, I'm just placing some seats in here. I am changing the color of the seats and the interior. The half inch, quarter inch, you want to use your uh, 035 wire, which that's what I'm using here for your for half inch thickness. Uh, 3 sixteenths to 18 gauge, you want to use 030 wire. Right now, my settings on this is six and a half on the wire speed and I have it maxed out on the voltage. As you can see, I do a weaving action. I follow my puddle. Of course, some welds look good, some welds look bad. For the most part, it holds very, very well. All this was done with the Flux Core Harbor Freight welder, so. All my projects are done with the Flex Core Harbor Freight Welder. Of course, I have a tear right here, which I'm gonna fix later. That's common on the Mustang seats. For some reason, they tear right here at the seat or right here. So um, I'm gonna fix that when I start get ready to do all the interior color change and everything. So. right there I'm putting the clamp I'm gonna go ahead and tack weld on top and after I get it tightened tack weld right here on top I'm gonna go ahead and um, go to the face and tack weld the face and then I'll weld it all up I know it's a big bead, but only because 
I had a high set speed of the wire coming out and I had it on minimum so I won't burn through the sheet metal. Um, to avoid this, I could have went max and lowered the speed. I would have had a flatter, a flatter bead right here. But I'm going to grind this down now and uh, we're going to keep it moving. So the Mustang seat controls, they plug and play to the Crown Vic motor. Uh, you don't have to change no wires or anything. It's just plug and play once again. Use the Mustang seats, Mustang, Mustang controls. You place this on, on your seat. Pass your control panel through the seat cover. Once you get everything seated, snug the seat covers in.
Okay, everyone, as I promised at the end of the video, I was gonna tell you what my mistake was. Here's the mistake I did right here. I know you're saying, well, what, what's wrong with it? All right, so I should have gave this, the placement of the seat a half inch gap between the Crown Vic frame and the seat, the Mustang seat. That would have gave me enough room to pass the seat cover in between the frame. I had to literally wedge a pry bar in between the frame of the Crown Vic and the seat just to get the seat covers in place. For the most part, that is pretty much it. It may, it may or may not matter because I did the half inch difference on the driver's side, but like I said in the video, it does slide. It locks, it locks, okay? This is not the first time I'm doing this. It, it, I've done this after the install. The seat is comfortable. It's not uneven. It's placed flat. It fits great. Would I do this again? Yes, I would. Uh, on another vehicle, it it doesn't matter. I would uh, swap seats out of any vehicle and I'll be sure to place a half inch plate in between the frame and the actual seat. On the driver's side, you can see I could get my finger in there. There's that half inch gap that I was telling you about. I had to do uh, two half inch plates in the front, one in the back, and uh, three sixteenths on top of the two half inch plates. Uh, only reason why is because the way the seat frame, the seat base was made, um, there is like a offset as far as height uh, for this to seat level. But the seat is comfortable, it's flat, it's not off. Oh, I got the batteries unplugged. Um, it pulls up, pulls forward, I showed you on the video, and it's comfortable. It's uh, leaning back to the max right now. So, like I said, I would do this on any vehicle and I'll be sure to make sure I have the half inch gap placed so I could be able to get the seat covers in between the frame and the seat base. Other than that guys, well guys, the Crown Vic has bucket seats. If you like what you saw, Hit the subscribe button at the bottom on the right corner. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell. Leave a comment below and hit the thumbs up if you like the video. With that being said, thank you for watching. This is in my garage.